So welcome once again to Rona 360 as usual. If it is TV, if it is arts, if it is culture, then this is the right place for you. You know, uh, it is always a delight to come your way once again to talk about what we love best, the arts, culture, and TV. Charlie, what's up? I do cool, sir. Yeah, cool. we thank God. Uh, you know, over the weekend, we were fortunate enough to be at the Ghana Modest Fashion Week. Goodness. Goodness. So, in this episode of Runa 360, we are going to talk about the Ghana Modest Fashion Week. We were there ourselves to see, witness, feel it. So, we, we are here to bring you all the vibes, all that happened, you know, break it down, talk about things that we saw, and then, you know, share with you. So, if you're ready, let's go. So just this last Saturday, the Ghana Modest Fashion Week 2023 happened live at the World Trade Center here in Accra. And myself and my brother, we were there. It was, it was mega. First of all, let me ask my brother, uh, Blacks. So Blacks, tell me, how was this fashion show? Thank you. Uh... <laughs> so, um, the Ghana Modest Fashion Week this Saturday it was mind busting. See, we always say that, um, or there's this notation, I mean, recently that oh, you want on trend, oh, oh, if you don't show skin, I know that, I mean, out there, you don't yeah. know what's up, yeah, but. This Saturday, what I saw, modesty, air swag. Yeah, yeah. There's swag in modesty. Charlie, 24 gunshot salute <laughs> to the organizers <laughs> of the Ghana Modest Fashion Week. Pay, pay, pay. Oh, yes. It's hey, hey, serious. It's serious. Yeah. It's serious. What I witnessed it was my first time. I mean, they've done it for four years. Yeah. This, this was their fourth edition. Yeah. But for the first time, See, I, I don't know the words to, to, to qualify this event for it because it was very nice. The aesthetics. Everything. The, the, the designs. I mean, organization. All right. So, 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 since you brought these things out, let's take them one by one. First of all, we want to use our platform and this opportunity to thank and appreciate the CEO, the brain tank, the the whole team who put up this spectacular performance at the Ghana Modest Fashion Week, the fourth edition. Charlie, you've done well. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala continue to bless you guys. You've done, you've done very, 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 very well. So, like my brother said, Blacks Avanting Godfather said, let's break it down so that people will appreciate, you know what. All the noise we are, we are making. Let's start with bookings and reservations. So, um, I saw. In fact, we're not interested. We follow a lot of yeah. channels and platforms on social media, especially if you are in the space of TV, art, and culture. So we follow them on social media on WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, Instagram. And so when the flyer came out that there's going to be the 2023 edition of the Ghana Modest Fashion Week, I typed on their Facebook page that we will definitely be there. And bro, within the short space of time, they responded, we would love to see you there. So we were still following. And then they posted that media accreditation call so so and so number so i called the, the number and guess what the number was alive <laughs> oh yes the number was alive and the gentleman or the lady at the other end responded politely and said thank you we have reserved 
a place yes. for you. For me, it was mind busting because you know we've we've tried to hey this is you yes <laughs> yes we don't want to mention names but then we've tried our possible best yeah. to to go to a, a lot of fashion, fashion shows, shows that we were even willing to pay to to be there to witness for ourselves so that we can also share with our community those who love arts culture and tv i mean you know the story with some of these places comparing it to what i've just said and what we experienced about the ticketing and the res reservation what can we say comparing to like you said the experiences we've had with yeah. fashion shows and organizers i mean the last time we we spoke to one one of the organizers for a show for yes. a fashion show it was also a fashion show yeah. fashion show My fashion show and we're even willing to even travel outside a crowd for that show. You we, we will not mention <laughs> yeah, any names yeah, yeah. in there. It will give clues to people for, yes. for them to do. But like I was saying, we reached out to these people, and they never go back to us. Every they they came in, tested back, we replied, and then that was it. I don't know how this serves as a good uh, um, sign for someone who's trying to organize. Yeah. A whole fashion show. Yeah. So comparing that to Ghana Modest Week, the the feedback, how fast they replied, how clear they were. Exactly. It was very good. Yes. Top notch. I'll yes. give the out of hundred. Let me give them ninety nine. I mean, the reservation was on point. Was so much on point. So now let's talk about the venue, the location. What can you say about that blacks? So uh, the location. In fact, the occasion was good for the location. Bass. <laughs> <laughs> Bass. Because uh, we all know it happened at the World Trade Center right here in Accra, yeah. Ghana. And that location isn't a place you go and then you get lost right at a junction. I think uh, Nokra, um, the name of the place is the junction or the bus stop yeah. for, 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 for the, that spot. So I think they, they, they did well in taking that location just to make people uh, find it easy to get into the center. And then getting inside the center, I mean, the building, the aesthetics of the place, the space, um, in which or uh, where the, the runway or walkway was 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 held was way 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 very very good. So I think um, they did well with the location as well. Yeah, like Black said, the location was just on point. I mean, from the build, I, I mean, if you've not been to the World Trade Center here in Ghana, Accra, then you wouldn't really appreciate much of what we are saying unless you critically look at the video from the air conditioned interior to yeah. you know a very secure car park with proper security security yeah you know the organizers paid some macho men about the effort, about the effort <laughs> to to really secure the place yeah. and it was just it, it was just so lively now quick moving ahead let's talk about the treats this is one of the few shows that I have been to where they don't just only serve you water. They serve water and then pizza. And they also served drinks from Bell, beverages. you know, Bell beverages. Yeah. And uh, I mean, what can you say about the treats? So when you go there, um, I remember when about an hour later you were like you're going to get water for both of us and then you came back i think 20 minutes later and then we saw tree which had water going around being shared I was like hey we won't be that go to a fashion show and then you see them serve you with water and also pizza pizza was um, available 
normally we see it given uh, we see that it's given to the vip and maybe um, the official media partners but this was given to everyone if you are um or if you are inside that hall you are going to be saved yeah and and i think that was yeah. very good of them that was very thoughtful of them. of them yeah they gave everyone and i mean everyone from children to bloggers media partners vip non-vip everybody and i i think <coughs> one of such shows or fashion show that can match up to this is a any fashion show organized by abrantia college true yes true, when true. you go to abrantia college and they will host any of their runway programs you are sure that yeah, yeah, we are going to be treated very well to some very delicious dishes, and 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 I mean, you know, you know, water and everything. They did very well for such a show. It was well thought of, and we must commend them. I think we quickly we can also talk about the lights and the sound, light and sound. What is your assertion? What can you? see about the light and sound for the program. So light, light and sound. Um, I think it, from what we, what, what we perceived, I think they, they've really shown that they've been doing this for the past four years. Uh, for the fact that uh, I think they taught about um, the media people which we're going to cover. Whether it, be, it being sound, whether it being uh, videography. They really taught about these people because for lights especially i mean they were good lights the lighting systems were very good they were top notch and especially for the runway yeah because we know that videography and photography is all about light it's all about lights it's all about lights if, if, if you are deprived light um, i mean you are going to have a distorted um, video Images. picture and, and all that so lights was good sound i mean from performance to runway music. I don't remember any hostess or any of the MCs talking and then you hear you, you see her hitting her mic or showing a, giving a signal that um, her mic isn't working. True, true. So, I mean... The, the sound and light... Sh shout, outs, shout outs to... It was just Diana on point. Modest, it, yeah. was, it was just on point. Um, when we got there, we saw the lighting, and we were like, "Wow!" And what what was so beautiful is that they didn't, you know, all the colors that they used were bicolor lights, you know, lights that can have a daylight and then, you know, tanks in, and it, it was just on point. They didn't include any neon color like this purple, red, like this disco light, you know. It it makes pictures and video some way. The colors were very very bright, and I mean. Any photographer or any video, no matter where you are standing. I remember one of our, our friends, you know, from Accra Post also came. They came late. They even came with a phone, an iPhone. And because they were a little, bit, a little bit late, they couldn't secure any of the front seats or rows. So they had to be behind some other people to, to cover, you know, the show. And from where they were standing, which was a little bit far from the main stage, because of the lighting, they were able to capture everything, everything. on their phone and yeah. for me I, I must say you know big ups to the organizers of the ghana modest for fashion week this shows that they actually took time and invested heavily in lighting yeah. and sound and like you said any performer who who also came could be heard clearly, clearly. there were no time where there were issues between uh, a performer and then the the, the sound team like they are playing a song that they are not supposed to play and there was no time that we had the microphone feedback the quen, quen, quen. Quen. No, no 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 so the sound the sound was very very good now moving from sound quickly let's move to uh, let's jump to performance so, so we had kobe Rana coming through sharp and yeah, we know that kobe Rana the rock star yeah hey, we dance a major we post the one but you know we know he's also a rock star because when he comes, the stage is lit. Exactly. Exactly. From choreography 
to uh, um, um, voice performance, he does it so well. He's in sync with the song being played, what he's singing, um, in sync with uh, his dancers as well, and most importantly, what he's doing, he's yeah. interacting the same time with uh, viewers or those listening or those true, around. True. So I mean, Kobe Rana, shout outs to Kobe Rana. Yeah, shout outs to Kobe Rana. We we really enjoyed your enjoyed performance. performance. G- giving us back to back. I mean, yeah. throwback songs and all that. Yeah. Oh. It, it was good. The 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 graphic the choreography team too were also energetic. You know, with yeah, all these acrobatics yeah, yeah. and yeah. stuff. It was the place was lit when he came in. It wasn't only Kobe Rana. Kobe Rana. We also had NT4. NT4. Yeah. And I just love his costume for the show. You know, the red with his shades, with his quickly high, this white top, and his sh- black shoes. It was just on point. It was just on point from his, uh, all these uh, Hauser songs, and it was so good. It was so good. And, and, and you know, I thought, I mean, Islam song, no, I mean, no offense to the Islam people or the people who do Islam songs, but I thought people didn't really listen to those kind of songs because on Tiasia, we had them too. But when he when NT40 came on stage, we heard me, you know, when I look behind, I yeah. mean, I saw people dancing. And myself, I was enjoying myself. Yeah, <laughs> I was enjoying myself really, really well. People sang his song word for word. I mean, he did very well. It means that yeah. uh, all these songs are out there. They are doing really good for themselves. These artists are doing good for themselves. So we had a very good time with performances. All right. That is it for performance. Let's quickly jump. So performance, you are, you are giving them 100%, 100%. right? 100%. Light sound, 100%. So 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Now let's move to the models and the makeup. The models and the makeup you know this is one of the few shows where i've been to i've witnessed i've been part where i would say there is equal distribution or there is fairness in the makeup that was being presented at the show mm. you know th- there are some shows that you go and you could see that there is this disparity between the models on stage, the MCs, and a big difference, light years of difference between their makeup and the ushers. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. But with this one, the ushers had a very beautiful m- m- makeup, and it was almost the same quality yeah. as the MCs, yeah. as the models, as the designers and themselves, and it was so beautiful. It was so, so beautiful. So I think at the point in time, I even Took, took a picture of the models of the MCs and the ushers to sort of compare and I realized that it was the same, the same quality. quality. The beauty is that the the makeup suit were not that no 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 very mild the night makeup yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah very mild and very beautiful like the skin and it was it made the job of photographers and videographers very so easy, easy at the program and f- for that is a plus and we must give it to the Ghana modest Fashion Week organizers, they they've done well. I think the the makeup w- was done by DD Plus. Yes, yeah. DD Plus, DD Plus. What well done? I, I think they had um, other makeup parties, which um, I think we didn't get the, the their names. The, their names. Yeah. Now, well. talking about not getting their names, I think one thing that these the organizers did that was so profound was the inclusion of the LED panel or the LED, you know, screen. Yeah. For the first time in a fa- fashion sh- show, for the first time in a fashion show, something happened. Tell us what happened or what did you see? So, like you said, th- there was this um, inclu- inclusion. I think they thought of people who, who um, were or might be... Um, who ha- or who have um, hearing impairment? Uh, the L- LED lights yes. had details or the logos. In, in fact, had details and logos. Logo. Exactly, exactly. Of the designers, whenever um, their works are being presented, presented by the models. Yeah. So even if 
um, you are not around. Maybe you went out and then you come in and see these works being run through. You d- you don't need to go and ask uh, design d- designer I mean, as soon as you look on the LED screen, you know that okay, this designer is this 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 is the designer um, on board at the moment, and then you see their details, their social media handle, and then their contact as well. So I mean, that was on point and a big plus for them as well. Like, like you said, I mean, it was on point. The the beauty is that if you are hearing impaired and you can see, you can actually see the details of the presenters or, or the the designers. If you stepped out to pass water, if you step out to buy something, immediately you, you come into, into the hall, just by looking at the, LEDs, uh, the LED screen, you can catch up yeah. with whatever is it's happening. Okay. What is also profound is like... Uh, the ability to include the logos and the brand details of all these designers and True. what was thought provoking is that there was no time that there was a delay in showcasing a designer's uh, brand on their led screen True. and it, it, to, to, to be there for another designer, designer. to come and they would say oh yeah this one is no each time the designer exits the the runway it goes off it goes um, changes to the, change to the designer yeah. before they even come in for us i mean this shows the caliber of preparation and hard work they have put into into, into, in, in, into it so big ups to the organizers and the the, the team who 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 built this up. Who, who did it yeah. they've done really very very well now let's move on to the very final thing that is the designers who are the designers can you give us the designers you had top designers coming through uh, for the ghana modest fashion week 2023 we had um, mangta diner mankata diner mm-hmm. that is a uh, nikotes fashion house uh, we had fadiga creation by abdullah ramadan we had eruka fashion by abdullah nazir we had these fab lane by Amdiya Kasim, we had Chris Rock Crafts by uh, Mrs. Christina Roxen, we had Z Lines by Zainab Ahmed, and we had Rookies Fashion by Rookies herself. So, um, yeah, yeah, these, these, were, these were the designers, were the designers who, on board. you know, thrilled us at this program. For me, I was so thrilled by the fact that we had male designers also presented present because if you should go to majority of the TV schools and you you go to the fashion department you are likely going to see a few male students pursuing fashion so for such a program where uh, we got some some males you know taking the center stage to ex- uh, to sort of show their works it is a plus one thing that I also like is that uh, those who are coming to the the program where uh, were aware of all the, the designers before yeah. Yeah. they yeah. even they yeah. came. In fact, eh, the organizers did very well by by updating their social media, social media platforms, platforms with the designers and things the that are formers and all that. I mean they did very well. They did very well. Uh, designers like uh, Mankata D trilled us to you know, designs for young and old, designs with African fabric, like Kente fabric, and it was so nice. I mean, most of the designers stuck to a particular theme of color. You know, Mangata had white and blue run, running through. There were others who also had green, others had turquoise, others had brown. In all, they did very, very, very well. They did very, very well. Your, your words on that. The designers before so, um, designers the favorite <laughs> the, the, the designer i mean designers um did very well uh, they really showed or they de- they really depicted the name yeah. um mm-hmm. for the program that is modesty and mind you these designs um i would say uni religion okay because Yes, most of these designs were made up 
for Muslims or Islam people. But trust you me, these designs that were made can be sent to the church. You can wear them for your church, for your occasions, for red carpet. I mean, designs were very, very good, very on point. Um, uh, now, to, to I think my favorite designer, sorry to that, but I think Z Lines did it for me. Z Lines did it for me by Zena. Yeah. It was good. It was good. W w one thing that was also um, 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 remarkable about the design is when Ni took care of kids. True. He incorporated designs that f was befitting for children, and I think he was the only designer that, that, that did something for yeah, our younger him. brothers and just sisters, him. and he did very 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 well there i think someone also took care of the designs for the ushers the one who designed the ushers our yeah. outfit what did very well and they were looking very beautiful they were looking very very beautiful um i mean everything about the designers they were not that that much and huh, one thing that I, I i also want to talk about when it comes to the designers was how they were well organized I and mean, the order in in which they came yeah they they, they blended both the men and then the, the, women. the women and there were there was no moment of delay between the designs like oh at all, at all, uh, at all. we are calling the designer and then they will say he's not he, ready he's not ready there wasn't anything like that there wasn't anything as compared to some other fashion shows Jeez. that we know that has taken place here in ghana it wasn't like that all the designers were ready they were up to task the models were also re ready. ready they all came dressed in the clothes you know beautifully crafted by the designers and it was just a very beautiful spectacle yeah, uh, yeah. they really 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 luckily and hopefully no, no, no one fumbled uh, i mean yes when when people when when these models walked on when when they line up for the designer to be i mean applauded and they are going back on stage. You mean normally you see that they fumble around a hey, one echo. We yeah, were, yeah, 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 yeah. I see that these people were well organized. They know Very what organized. they were doing. So exactly. shout out to the models as well. Yes, they yes, yes. Shout really, out to the really model. Well, one beautiful thing, thing that I, I also observed was that it looks as if the the one who take took care of the models trained them because every designer had a different way of coming. And going. going. Yes. 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 There was no day th there was no time two designers entered and exited the same. same. The the catwalk uh, scheme or plan for every designer was different. different. I mean that shows the level of dexterity and detailed, you know, uh, uh, um, engagement that how much planning went into it how, how much planning practice went into and all that yes yeah, yes they really put in the was, effort they, they they really put in a lot of effort you know we are christians and it's not that we are not muslims so for someone to know it's because they are muslims that, that's why they are giving all this good no we are christians but give honor to him and is you and say the truth no matter where you know it is coming from or go, 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 going but I think that's all that yeah. we have. Um, your, your final words before we wrap up. Final words. Shout out to Fidel so for for the tasteful shower. I mean, the shower. Yeah. Shower and feel it well, well. And my final words. Um, well, a big well done to to Ghana modest fashion. They they really outdid themselves. They really raised the standard. If anyone will have to break that standard or reach the this uh, because yeah. i mean they, they did really really well and we urge yeah. them to continue and um, we hope that they don't stop so that people right here in ghana know that you, you can be modest and be classy you can be modest and still have the swag you can be modest and then stand out as well so um, shout outs to them and then Please, Ghana Modest Fashion, Rona 60, you want to come on board? Yes, um, 
Yeah. They say if, yeah. you, if you can't beat them, you join them. Please, you are not trying to beat, beat you. you. Yeah, we can't beat you. Nah, yeah, yeah, no, the standard and the level you 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 set, you know. We, we've not thought of beating you at all. Yeah, you know, please. At all. So, hopefully, the fifth edition, which is going to be very big, very big. Hopefully, yes. hopefully, uh, we, we come Insha on board. Allah. Inshallah. Yes. You come on board and, and be one of the media, media partners, partners or whatever. Yes, because oh, oh, yes, yes, we yes. can't resist at all. At all, we can't stand aside and watch such beautiful thing done without being part of being it. Part of it. So we want to tell you that we want to be part of your next editions fashion show, and hopefully, maybe we can also be going live you know yeah, with yeah. your or support in any way that we, we, we can I, I i think one other thing that i will also want to use our platform to say and and unofficially say on behalf of uh the ghana models fashion week is that uh, if you are a company out here in ghana or outside ghana and you believe in modesty you believe in fashion then i think this is uh, a company or this is a group that you need to invest and sponsor because with the caliber of you know detailed performance and engagement accuracy and delivery they they gave i think they are worth investing or partnering or sponsoring i mean no wonder the likes of bell beverages and gh1 and, and co where all the gaskia hafiz and uh aboyo studios and all these people yes, yes, media, yes okay. came on board uh, please let's sponsor them let's help them so that the next edition will become bigger and i think that going forward such a show should be organized every quarter and if that is going to be the case it shouldn't be, be done only in accra it should be done maybe every quarter in one of the regional capitals in ghana so that people will gradually come to appreciate modest fashion because the beauty is that every religion in ghana talks about modesty so if there's a fashion show that is portraying that is showcasing that is representing modesty in our fashion as african as Ghanaians, i think it is worth supporting so if if it is worth supporting then it is worth spreading and if it is worth spreading other parts of ghana need to know this and also you know catch the fire of course it will also be a, a good field to showcase some of the designers in the islamic community or even christian communities who believe in you know fashion dress a modest you know apparels for Ghanaians. so that's a little advice or suggestion for the ghana modest fashion that going forward they should be looking at doing this in the other regions maybe quarterly or biannually you know uh, it, it will really go a long way to increase or expand their brand and you know push the idea of modesty in dressing way higher and further you know we cannot end our show without reminding you that you are a very precious individual you are filled with a lot of talent and gifts and so you shouldn't waste your life away with harmful drugs don't abuse drugs don't abuse prescription drugs because if you abuse drugs drugs will also mm. abuse you when so you stay away yeah. live long enjoy your life enjoy the arts culture and tv and let ghana benefit from you this is all that we, we have for you in this edition Anyone. of the Renat 360 is being with me gideon highlander and with my brother blacks i want to thank god's son Ushiana Kase or oh, Samuel Kafi. More fire. So that you will meet again. Bye bye. God be with you.